in a large environment where multiple deployments are scheduled, collections or software being added or removed, migration being scheduled, there are chances where infrastructure may slow down. And it's really very important to understand why this loan is. Is it because of some misconfiguration or that's by default? To understand what would have happened in last few hours, in this video we will cover few of the options through status message that we can check and come to know how the things have performed. So before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel or yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavya welcoming you. So if you are looking forward to explore what could have happened in last few hours, then we can go to monitoring tab. Within that, we can go to system status. Here we will see status message queries. On the right hand side, we will see a few of the components. One of the component all status message can give a very good idea what all activities has happened. So over here, if I click on show messages, I will see all the status messages. Here I need to mention the time. So we can go one hour prior or six hours, 12 hours to few weeks to one year also. So let me mention as 12 hours. So what all activities has happened in last 12 hours that we can see it. I press OK. So here we are seeing AD system discovery, AD user discovery, that information that has been triggering regularly since last few hours. We will check the reason why that is happening. Similarly, we are seeing some of the components like replication configuration manager that has happened from the system TSCAS and this is CM01 from where this is triggered. Similarly, we will see a lot of system and component details in the production environment. This is a lab environment where we are seeing status message which is 1158. However, in the production, we will have a bigger amount of information. So here we are seeing some information which is configuration management exe which has been triggered by the user. Similarly here TSCL02 which is one of the client computer where we are seeing software distribution. So if I need to see what all information has happened, what all status has happened from this particular device, then I can further filter it out. For that I can go to view and here I can use a filter option or else I can use this filter from here. So here I can mention the system name which is TSCL02. I can press OK. So here we are seeing all the status message from this particular system. So here it's saying deployment CAS was received from site FCH. Let me double click over here. So it's saying that the client passes any support platform requirement configuration manager and there's a deployment, there's an advertisement that has been triggered and this particular deployment ID which has been received. So we, this is at 8.23.08 second. If I go previously, I will see 8.23.09 second. There is a program which we saw earlier. CAS 20014 that has been received but not yet started. So this policy has been received but not yet started. So if we go again previously at 8.23.21 second over here. We will see a program that is started. There is a command line which is MSI file and this particular deployment will happen. So there is a configuration manager tool and there is a CCM cache to folder on which this particular directory is going to install. So this is a MSI file and this particular installation is going to happen. The file will be downloaded on this particular location. So this is a good information to know what is going to happen and after that if we go previous that is 845. So after a few minutes we are seeing another information which is saying the program for deployment this is successfully completed and we are seeing the description where the user context anti authority system account is going to use to download so which is successful and that's the status message we are saying that this particular program is successfully completed. So good information we are seeing if you are looking forward to explore what has happened then this can be a very good information. The other thing that we saw is the 
user and system discovery information we were seeing it repeatedly now in our environment we have enabled the user and system discovery and that's a delta discovery that is happening that is what we are seeing to check what is happening we can go to configuration manager within administrations hierarchy configuration here we are seeing discovery method so here as we see system discovery is enabled user discovery is enabled here if i double click over here polling schedule i will see delta discovery which is 5 minutes similarly for system discovery here we are seeing every 5 minutes so if i again come back to the status message information i further filter it out and here i use this particular component user discovery okay so i will see all the status message with the component ad user discovery agent now here as an example if i come over here it stays 12:5001 this particular component was started and after that after 1 second we are seeing user discovery read the ad container and found one valid ad container object entries in the site controller file if i go to previous so after 1 second we are seeing that once the discovery is done that particular component is stopped again we will see the next message which is saying that sms executive is next scheduled to start this component on 7/9/2022 12:55 so as you see after exactly 5 minutes this particular component is again scheduled to run similarly that is what is by design because that's the setting that we have done similarly we saw it for the ad user discovery so over here previously we saw the information which was related to tscl02 where we saw the particular msi file being executed now what if that particular command this particular command is incorrect then there are chances that the installation may not happen or something what is incorrect that may happen so this can be a very handy tool to understand what is going on similarly within here status message queries we are seeing lot more information so if you are looking forward to see that what has happened now in the all status message if we see particular collection id over there then we further we can filter it out from there itself or we can use all status message for the specific collection so example if i do a right click over here and show messages then i can use a property value so i can either load it now in the production this may take a while this is a lab environment so it's going to load quickly so cas and i'm mentioning last 6 uh, hours so what has has happened on this particular collection id which i have mentioned that we are able to see it so this is a particular collection application that was created by the user fourth coffee at what time so we are seeing a time 80938 second even millisecond we are seeing so that is a collection id which is created by the user and then we are seeing a next which is by going on to the previous we are seeing user fourth coffee config manager created a deployment so this particular collection there is a deployment that is assigned which is cas00035 and that is a deployment which we are seeing as a package id advertisement id so this all information we are saying so this can give a very good information if you are looking forward to diagnose what could be a reason so this can be a starting point from there we can get some clues and further we can filter it out to get more understanding on the issue so this is a brief knowledge that i am sharing based on the topic where if something has happened in the last few hours we can check by this way if you have your ideas your thoughts then please comment because your ideas will help out me as well as the entire community to learn and grow also if you are liking the content that being shared then please like and comment because your inputs are really encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos also if you are yet to subscribe then please click subscribe so that you get more periodic updates related to MECM with this this is yagnesh malavia thanking you for watching this video